Hi there, welcome to Nepi Invest and welcome to Nepi's small cap stock of the day. Originally, it was going to be Moshio, MXO, a company I know nothing about, but Reza's Health did release an announcement today that got the market excited. That got me a little bit excited, well, not as excited as the market. And I thought, yeah, this company should be featured as the as the small cap stock of the day. Now, I won't talk about what this company does. You can do it yourself because I want to keep this video as short as possible. All I'm interested in is the announcement and also the chart. Is this a breakout? So let's have a look at this announcement. But before that, the company went into training halt in regards to this announcement, and then they released this announcement at 9.34 a.m. on the 19th of November. Residents contracted by major global pharma. Now, personally, these are not the sort of announcements that get me excited. I get excited by trading updates, uh, profit upgrades, financial results. Uh, any sort of contract announcements, mm, not so much, but it is on an individual basis. So on occasion, I can get excited about a contract announcement. And this is one of the ones that I did get a little bit excited. Now, before we have a look at this contract, I just want to go back to the company's most recent Appendix 4C because you need a bit of context here. So Resident Health, Resident Health has been around for a while. I don't know how long, but at least 10 years, probably greater than 10 years. And their receipts and revenue have been growing quite slowly over that period. And the company has been flipping and flopping to being operating cash flow positive to operating cash flow negative. So they haven't really hit that inflection point just yet. And maybe this contract can get them over that line. So in the most recent quarter, $3.2 million of receipts and the company was operating cash flow negative by 88000 and free cash flow negative by about $180,000. So context, $3.1 million in receipts in one quarter. So let's have a look at this particular announcement. Residents contracted by major global pharma company for clinical drug trial worth $13.775 million over 24 months. So that's one slight thing I am... Uh, I wouldn't say it's a red flag, but one thing to be wary of, this is only for a two-year period, but $13.775 million over two years. They do mention down here that the first payment will be $2.1 million due within 30 days of agreement. And then over the next two years, we should really see a ramp up in this company's receipts. Now, there is a question. You might see a ramp up in the receipts, but does that mean there's going to be a likewise ramp up in the company's spending. So I'm really intrigued to see how this company performs in the current quarter. And they should release that Appendix 4C by the end of January. Now they released the last Appendix 4C on the 28th of October. So maybe around the 25th to say 30th of January next year. Okay, so a few things I like about this company and the very fact that receipts of $3 million in a quarter. So if they maintain that sort of receipts with this new contract, maybe receipts can be upwards of as much as $5 million in a quarter. And maybe the company, if they don't increase their spending all that much, the company will be uh, operating cash flow in free cash flow positive by about $1 million. Anyway, so let's have a little chart for residence health just to see if this is a breakout. The whole, thing I'm, the whole reason I go through this process is I'm looking for breakouts. Now, first thing I look at or notice when I look at this particular chart is, ooh, so no trend at all over the past two years. This goes back to the start of 2023, so almost a two-year period. No trend in all. In fact, the share price was near a low, a two-year low, before they released this announcement. So typically what you want to see before the company releases a good announcement is at least the share price going sideways. You don't want to see the share price in a downtrend because you will see increased selling. And the main reason you see increased selling is because many shareholders have bought at high prices in the past and they just want to get out. They saw the share price dive over the past month or so from, say, $0.06 cents down to $0.3.8, cents, and they just can't handle it. So when they see the share price rise by 50%, they sell. They just have to sell. That's why we have seen a little bit of selling pressure today, but not amazing selling pressure. When I say amazing, I mean the selling pressure hasn't been, or the enthusiasm of the sellers has not overwhelmed the buyers. So in the share price has decreased a little bit, not all that much. So that could be a good sign. But the last time the share price was this level at six cents was a month ago. So it's not really a three month high. Plus, the announcement is not the sort of announcement that would excite me all that much. So the thing that would really excite me is their appendix 4C that the company will release in January. So definitely 
my eyes will be on that particular report. Anyway, that's all I really want to talk about when it comes to Resonance Health. If you have any questions, any thoughts um, about this company, just leave that in the comment section of this video. By the way, this is the longer term chart going all the way back to 2018. We can go even further back, 2014. This is pr probably when I got a little bit excited about this company. Back in 2013. Uh, yeah, 20th of December 2013, FDA clearance for HEPA fat scans, share price up 183%. And the company really hasn't advanced all that much from there. Anyway, so last thing I should mention is I'm not a financial advisor. If you do need financial advice, make sure you seek out someone who's qualified and can speak to your own financial needs. That's it for this video. Have a good day. Bye.